Hi Maker, this is Claire from Eclair Makery and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet my leopard clutch pattern. This is a really fun beginner tapestry crochet pattern using the leopard stitch that you can find on my blog or here on my YouTube channel. It features fun leopard spots and is a square that you end up just seaming up to make this fun clutch that you can use. I am really excited about teaching you how to make this pattern. You can find the free pattern for this on my blog at the link in the description. Um, and you can also find a ad free pr printable PDF in my shops as well. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And um, let's go ahead and jump right in. To make this leopard clutch, you're going to need a few different things. You're going to need worsted weight yarn in a couple different colors. I have the We Crochet Upcycle Reserve yarn. It's a wool worsted yarn. And this is what I used for the main um, color of my clutch. Then I would really recommend if you were going to use We Crochet yarn, pair it with the Wool of the Andes Tweed in Wellies Heather, and then do the same thing in Sarsaparilla Heather as the center. Um, what I ended up doing is just using some scrap yarn from my stash. Um, I used some of the Lion Brand Basic Stitch yarn. Um, this is one of their Heather tones. It's a brown with um, yellow flecks mixed in there. But if you want to go with some We Crochet yarn which I highly highly recommend um, then I would go with all of these colors here and then you will also need a size K 6.5 millimeter crochet hook to crochet this and that is all you'll need to make this. To begin making your leopard clutch what you're going to need to do is start with two rows of 40 half double crochets. So you begin by chaining 42 and then starting in the third chain from the hook, then you half double crochet down and then half double crochet across for a second row. And once you have this base, then we are going to start doing the leopard stitch pattern. If you have never done the leopard stitch, it is a free tutorial here on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. Uh, it has a free um, chart pattern that is what we will be using to make this clutch pattern today so be sure to check out the link in the description to get this video or find it here on my channel and this is what we are going to be using for the entire pattern we are going to be using this chart and repeating it two times um, well, doing it a total of two times across because the stitch chart is 20 stitches so we will be doing two complete versions of these and then we'll be adding um, more repeats of this whole thing in general. So you'll be referring to this as you work and you'll see on the first row with the color work we are just going to start by using the black yarn in order to do the base of these first spots. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So what you'll do is you are going to chain two stitches, then you are going to start by doing one half double crochet, and instead of finishing your stitch off with your brown yarn, you're going to take your black yarn here, and then we will join with the last yarn over to join that yarn to our work. Now when you're not using your brown yarn, you will want to carry it along the back of your work and you'll do the same for the black yarn when you're not using that as well. So then once you switch to the black yarn, um, we are going to do two stitches here and to carry your yarn you will just crochet around that um, piece of yarn that's on the back there. Then we, after doing those two stitches, then we will switch back to the brown and then you'll carry the black yarn across the back as you work with the brown yarn. So we'll do three of these stitches, then switch back to the black and do two black stitches on the base here, so two, one, and two, switch back to the brown, like so, then do four brown stitches, 
two, three, and four. Then switch back to black yarn and do four black stitches like this. Switch back to the brown and then do four brown stitches. Continuing to carry the black yarn because we will be using this for repeating the stitches we just did. So then this is what one um, full workup of this first row on that chart that I showed you looks like. So then you're going to repeat exactly what you did just here and then I'll show you how to add in the other color on the next row. So on this next row I've gone ahead and changed to and have started crocheting towards the um, last set of the stitches that I did and on the chart the next um, row involves extending this black yarn by doing two stitches right here. So on the next stitch we are going to go ahead and switch back to our black yarn. Remember whenever you're working on the wrong side of your work you will always want your stitches to uh, <laughs> when you're working on the wrong side of the work you are going to want to make sure that your yarn strands are always on the back side of your work. So as you work and you're carrying colors make sure that the yarn is on the back. So on this second row what I've gone ahead and done is chain two and then crocheted over to the last spot that I did. In this next row we're going to extend this spot over to the left which will it'll be the left on the front by doing one more black stitch right here. So on this last yarn over we're going to switch back to the black and just remember that as you are working this pattern whenever you are working on the wrong side of your work you will want to make sure that your yarn strands that you are not using are always on on the back side and that applies for doing color work in general. So then we will go ahead and do two black stitches and then this is the point where we will add in our other color. So I have a contrasting brown color here and I am going to go ahead and join that and then we add in this third color that we will be working with. So as you work with this third color, this, I like to still just carry my yarn. Um, this is kind of a modified version of Tapestry Crochet by using three colors. So then you will do um, two brown stitches here. Let me get my yarn. <laughs> so two brown stitches. And then one of my tricks is whenever I'm going to switch colors when I'm on the wrong side, I always like to bring my yarn over the stitch so that when um, I switch colors it's not weird. So if you want to make sure that your stitch looks really nice be sure to tighten it and then bring it to the back side of your work. So then we'll do two more black stitches and then switch back to the brown like so. Make sure that black yarn is on the back there. Then we'll do two of these brown stitches. This will be the main color stitches. <laughs> so then we'll do that. Do one of the black stitches. Then switch to our contrasting brown color. Do two of those stitches. Switch back to the black and then crochet one black st stitch. Switch to the main color. Do one of those stitches. Switch back to the black again and do one black stitch then one, then one brown stitch, another black one, 
and then back to our main color. And then you'll repeat this across the rest of your piece and it'll look like this on the front. So essentially this is how you will be doing the rest of the color work for the pattern. Just follow the chart for the leopard stitch and repeat it the amount of times that the pattern calls for so that you can have your finished square to fold up and sew for the clutch. So at the very end of your leopard clutch square we are going to switch to the inside of the spot color and then we are going to work on seaming this together. So while we're seaming this together we will be crocheting along the edges with this inside spot color so that we can have a really cool edging on it. So what I do when I do this is I will fold my piece over like this and I fold mine to um, where this like um, uncolor work part right here, the blank, I guess we'll just call it the blank section, um, that this is at the bottom. So I have my edge be the very bottom of these uh, spots um, or a little bit lower, just depending on how big you want your flap to be. I'm not gonna have my flap be too big on mine. Um, I'm just going to have it be about this length. Then we've got the nice blank edge and then some spots on there. So once you have that folded over, you are gonna come over here to where you have this um, brown yarn here. And then we are going to work on seaming along the edge here. So you wanna make sure you have it laid flat. And then we are going to single crochet through both of these sides. So this is going to be a single crochet here. And then you do it all the way down this piece. This way, we can seam it together with um, the single crochets and give it a cool edge at the same exact time. So you'll just do this on this side and then you'll join the same color yarn on the other uh, seam so that you can um, seam up that edge as well. And then once you get to the edge of this seam and the same on the other one, then you just fasten off weave in that end, and then we'll add in some edging on the very top of our piece. Once you have seamed up the two sides here, if you would like to add some of the edging along the top, what you will do is you will come over here to this side, insert your hook into one of the loops on the edge, then you will take your brown yarn that you've been using for the edging already, you will join it with a slip stitch and then you will start single crocheting around the edge of the top here. And you can just go all the way around till you don't have any more of the edge to crochet around. And then once you do that, then you are all done with your clutch. Once you are all done with adding the edging to your clutch, you will have this super fun purse that you can start using right away. If you would like to add a button closure on here, just sew on a button and then do a small amount of chain stitches to create a loop around it, or you can just leave it plain like I did on mine. I really hope that you love this beginner tapestry crochet pattern. I had so much fun designing it for you and I hope that it helps you learn some new fun crochet techniques and that you will enjoy using this purse all the time. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video. Leave a comment below if you are super excited about making this. You can find the free pattern for this on my blog at the link in the description box below or just visit www.eclairemakery.com and search the leopard clutch pattern. I can't wait to show you all of the fun crochet patterns that I have coming up and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time.